What's up? <laughs> hey guys, what's up everybody? It's been a long time. We're gonna be talking about why I left BIM. And the reason why is because... I'll cover that later in the video. All right guys, so I just wanted to um, make this video because a lot of you have been asking me questions about BIM, how to be a BIM engineer. Can you be a BIM engineer if you study structural engineering? Where is the best country to go to to get a master's in BIM? And like all these random BIM questions. But the truth is, two years ago or three years now, before I talk about the why, let me just talk about the how because the how kind of explains the why better. A lot of you who have followed my journey, you know that after I graduated from school, I became a BIM engineer for two years and I was doing that in Seattle, Washington for his company called Katera. Oh, by the way, Katera went bankrupt. They are no longer in existence. And then I joined this other company to be a pre-construction engineer and I did that for like two years. Really, I was an estimator. I didn't do anything pre-construction. So the reason why I left to join this other company was because they wanted me to integrate design and construction, helping them extract numbers from the BIM models so that I can put them on a spreadsheet. Whenever there's a design change to the BIM model, what you wanna do is to keep track of the changes and how it would impact the overall cost in terms of construction. The reason why I stuck with it was because I would rather deal with numbers than 3D models. You know, at first when I joined BIM, I thought it was gonna be fun, right? Like playing a video game. But after doing it for two years, you realize that it's not as fun as you think. And if you have a passion for it, good. You should keep doing it. But for me, my passion was more in numbers. I love doing estimating. I love calculating how much does it cost to build a building. And with estimating, like you have to go deep into the details. So you learn how to read the plans, the specifications, and the details. I would rather go into the construction detail than to play around with the 3D geometry in a virtual environment, which is fake. And then after that, I joined this current company, which I'm working for right now as a cost manager doing cost management, right? And I have to deal with numbers too. I have to apply my estimating skill sets into this scope of work and I have to manage the finances for the owner. So which is fun. I prefer doing that more than BIM. And now let's talk about the reasons why I left BIM for good. I found a new interest, which is estimating and cost management, more so than doing BIM. Like for me, part of the reason why I studied construction was because I wanted to build my own establishment one day. And I know like that's just big dreams, right? I want to learn how to build. Being a BIM engineer for two years, I was behind the screens all day, eight hours a day. You never really got to go out there to the field. As an estimator, like you learn to read the plans and specs, right? But also sometimes you get to visit the people in the field. You visit your subcontractors and they teach you how things are being done. You have relationships with the subcontractors, which is the best part about being the estimator. For me, I want to be in control of the things that I do. When I encounter software issues, it just makes me go crazy. And I feel like I'm not really the type of person to be able to handle that kind of stress. First of all, it's outside of my control. I have to wait for someone else to fix the bug first before I can do anything on my end. So that means you have to wait for them. That means lost time, right? And BIM is very software driven. You need to learn, you need to know more about the software than you know to let me just phrase that again. You need to know more about the software than you need to know more about construction. And for me, I want to be on the other side of the spectrum where I know more about construction and less about the software. I just feel like at the end of the day, it really comes down to how much you like what you do. I really hope that this video helps you make better decisions, whether you want to be a BIM engineer or an estimator or a scheduler, a project engineer, or superintendent, there is so many ways you can explore to find the right career for you. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Cheers.